In 1969, a celestial light show burst through the sky over Chihuahua, Mexico. These lights in the sky are called meteors. Or is it meteorites? Maybe meteoroids? Are those all different things? And if they are, what is the difference? Actually, they are all different, but they're pretty closely related. The streaks of light are in fact meteors. But the small rocky bodies that cause the lights, those are meteoroids. And when a piece of a meteoroid survives the trip and hits the ground, that object is called a meteorite. So let's talk about our Mexican light show. It actually started out as a single object about the size of a car flying through space. That object was a meteoroid, a body orbiting the sun that's smaller than an asteroid or comet. In February 1969, that meteoroid hit Earth's atmosphere and it hit it fast. Meteoroids fall at a minimum speed of 25,000 miles per hour. At that speed, the friction from the air began to heat up the object. In fact, it made it so hot that it began to burn brightly across the sky as a meteor. This particular meteoroid didn't just burn, it exploded into pieces. Now, most meteoroids burn up entirely as meteors, and some of these pieces did just that. But a few made their way through the atmosphere to hit the ground. Those remnants are known today as the Allende meteorite. Yeah, even though there are lots of stones, they're all considered part of the same meteorite. All in all, about two tons of this meteorite was recovered. Study of the Allende meteorite reveals that it is one of the oldest objects in the solar system, older than Earth itself. So where do meteoroids like this come from? Well, almost all of them are actually fragments of asteroids, the larger rocky bodies that orbit the Sun in a big belt between Mars and Jupiter. A few, though, are actually moon rocks, and some even come from Mars. So if you ever see one of these interplanetary travelers lighting up the night sky, now you'll know that you're seeing a meteor caused by a burning meteoroid. And if you're very lucky, you might even find a meteorite when it hits the ground.